It has been a season of stadium speculation. The Bears want to build a new one. The Sox do too. And there's been a lot of talk between team owners, politicians, and developers about where those new venues could be built and who would pay for them. So former Illinois Governor Pat Quinn wants you to have a voice too. So Governor Quinn joining us now on the stream. Uh, Governor Quinn, thank you so much for your time this morning. We really appreciate it. Well, I'm glad to be here. Glad to talk about it. Absolutely. Yeah. I really, so, yeah, I believe that people should have a chance in a referendum to vote on whether or not taxpayer money should be used to uh, build these stadiums. Uh, you know, they sound good if you say it fast from the Bears or the Sox, but bottom line is taxpayers are the ones who have to pay for it. And uh, uh, most of other cities around the country, whenever this subject comes up, uh, there's a referendum. And that's what I filed yesterday. Uh, a petition uh, to have the city council and the mayor put this issue on the November ballot, let the people of Illinois, people of Chicago especially, have their voice. Is referendum, these referendums are non-binding, so how do you see a potential, if this did go through, where voters were able to ask this question on, you know, how much or w should taxpayers foot any of the bills for these new stadiums, how could leaders then use that information about what the voters want in their decisions? Well, politicians follow the election returns, uh, and that's what votes and a referendum are all about. They're votes not only in a poll, but they're the ultimate poll. This uh, November, we're voting for president and other important offices. So uh, showing the people in city council and state legislature, the mayor, uh, where the people of Chicago feel. Their hard-earned tax dollars should not go to subsidizing uh, sports stadiums for uh, very wealthy franchises. So uh, that really is something that I think the people want. We did a poll uh, just it came out last week, and it showed that two-thirds of the people of Illinois are opposed to using their taxpayer money to build uh, new stadiums, whether it's for the Bears or somebody else. Uh, you know, we already did it for the Bears, and we still owe $660 million on the rehab of Soldier Field that turned Soldier Field into a spaceship. Uh, we're still paying for that, and we will be until 2032. So the idea of the Bears coming back and getting another subsidy from the taxpayers, just plain wrong. Let the people vote. You actually initiated a voter referendum back in 2001 around that very issue. Do you think that if uh, then Governor Richard M. Daley had not blocked that referendum from happening, that that could have changed the tra trajectory of what we're seeing right now, where, like you just said, the city's still on the hook for several million dollars? Tens of millions, hundreds of millions right. of dollars. No, Mayor Daley did not want a referendum back 25 years ago. I petitioned for it. They went to court. They blocked it. Uh, but that isn't the right way to go. Mayor Johnson, who was elected about a year ago, campaigned on openness and having a citizen voice and making sure taxpayers come first. And uh, that's why a referendum now in 2024 is a very good way to show the politicians, people in office, how the voters feel. And uh, I think that's the only way to go. Cities all over the country have done this when these stadium proposals come up. Uh, we should do it here in Chicago. Uh, a lot of people will uh, talk about the boost that these potential new stadiums could have to the local economy. They could draw more fans in from out of state, and then those people would be spending mo money at other local businesses. Do you think that argument does have weight? You know, bottom line is tens, well, we already said $660 million was spent on rehabbing and remodeling Soldier Field. And that is definitely far more than any kind of economic incentive that would be coming from building a new stadium. The Bears actually want to build a stadium south of Soldier Field on a parking lot on public land. And they also want the naming rights to that stadium. This is public property. Uh, that They tried that before we stopped them back uh, in 2001. The Bears wanted to sell the name of Soldier Field to a bank and collect $300 million. No, uh, the taxpayers come first. And important issues are uh, making sure we have good schools, we fight violence and have public safety, and make sure also that uh, we have affordable housing for everyday people who live from paycheck to paycheck. The idea that wealthy sports owners get uh, the first in line is just plain wrong. I think the 
people of Chicago deserve much better. And that's what referendums are. They give the people, everyday people, a chance at the ballot box to send a message. Uh, rapid fire, Governor Quinn. Uh, Sox or Tigers Day? You're going to be at opening day at Sox Park <laughs> later. <laughs> well, I'm a White Sox fan from birth. Uh, you know, it's tough losing Jason Benetti, our announcer yeah, from I last know. year. He's now the announcer of the Detroit Tigers. But no, this year we're going to show him that we're going to be a lot better than 61 wins. That's all we had last year. I'll be in the upper deck. I pay for my own tickets. I may be near Bob Euchre up there, okay. but uh, we'll <laughs> have a good day this afternoon uh, for sure. I, lo I love a major league reference. Governor Quinn, thank you so much for your time this morning. We really appreciate it. Okay, thank you. Let's